I get the cheat code, I'm a beast They should've never let me out of lease Stop out of cap, I'm just tryna see You really back what you talk on the beat They put me in, I'ma walk on the beat I eat my plate and it make me obese I been pushing lyrics like a kingpin And when the day we got no I was watching a documentary True. about Russia and China, right? True. It has nothing to do with this, but one of the reasons that they just they want to make sure they have all of their land and and they want more doesn't matter how much they have they want more and that's with you it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have it you doesn't matter how much experience you have how much research you know you want more and i think that times. that's what maintains your goat status and i'm not dick pulling you it's not what we're doing here <laughs> well, but i don't think that's like what <laughs> no but into perspective Please, because you know away. what a lot of times we we, more tongue. we don't people the don't give the us episode is rolling Continue. people don't give us that opinion <laughs> People don't give us that opinion. This and, one won't and, have an intro. But again, just... that's what we talk about with us, right? <laughs> that's why the show has to be so good. That's why each one of us has to always look out for the other because of the expectation right. that comes with the brand of who we are and who we're affiliated with. And when people go looking, because they're going to go look, what will they find? And I and and I don't give a rat's ass what any other clown is doing on their podcast. That's, I don't. Well, I don't, we can't use this now. <laughs> I wouldn't care. I, listen, I. Eight or eighty blind cripple the crazy, bro. I wouldn't care if you're from Atlanta or if you're from Timbuktu. Right. If you're using your platform to spread your message, congratulations. Continue to do that. I want you to monetize that. I want you to be the best version of that. If I come across it and I happen to think that you're making strides of progress and I want to go look and see what you got going on and I find that you don't have it, I'm not going to do nothing about it. I'm just going to shrug it off. Like, okay, here's another one. Because that's where it is. I, I'm at that point. I don't care how many people do it wrong. I care that we do it right. That's all I'm after is to make that. sure that we do it right. Whoever's doing it wrong, cool. Hey, check this out, bro. You may want to avoid doing this because I did this. Case in point, we talked about Kingpin. Can you give me a graphic that tells me all of the different times and lengths of the videos for the different social platforms? Yes. I'm showing the wife and I'm always bigging up my wife because she's like, that's, I always say I'm the Robin to her Batman. Life's so the ghost. So we were sitting there talking and I'm on TikTok and I loaded a, a video according to their specifications and requirements. But what did TikTok tell me? TikTok gave me a message that said, hey, bro, you sure you don't want to split this in half to get? And their exact words in their recommendation was, are you sure you don't want to split this in half to get more exposure? So now they're telling me they don't even want it the way they wanted it. Now they want me to cut that in half. Oh. And they're telling me that if they cut it in half, that they're going to get me more exposure. So now they're telling me they want they're shorter. Incentive. They're giving me incentives to do it how they want it done so that their platform can continue to grow. Could you imagine what a concept would be if all of us, if we decided to use the platforms, and I say all of us, all of you guys watching, if we decided to use the platforms for what they were for? When you use, yes, for some people, social media is for entertainment. Right. We're not... We're entertainers. Right. So if there's an entertainment platform, then that's where we make our money at. We're either providing education and entertainment, we're providing entertainment and entertainment, or we're providing <laughs> fuckery and entertainment. But right. at the end of the day, it's we're trying to keep people engaged and captivated with our shows. That's why we have new topics every week. That's why we have new questions of the week. That's why we have different opinions. And it's okay to disagree because we want people to have that engagement with us. Right. Within that comes a big responsibility. What are we not doing to make sure that we can be the best version so that we can continue to properly educate? It baffles me how somebody can consider themselves to be one of my peers, but not try to equip themselves with the information necessary to remain competitive in this business that we're in. Because you have to remain competitive, my boy. I think uh, if I could politely interrupt, there's three words that, you know, what can I start doing? What can we stop doing? What what can we or what should we continue doing? Because we always have to figure out what should, what we should start to to add to the progression. Right. We always have to figure out what should we stop that's not working, and then we also have to build on what we should can continue to do. So, what are we doing that's right? Funny story you said brought up TikTok. On my TikTok, my cheat code posts don't work, but my cheat code posts work on my Instagram. Do you know why? Explain. Because they're already posted from the cheat code. They belong to us. Mm -hmm. So instead of you going in and resharing it or doing a duet or, or be, being a collaborator on it, you're reposting something that has already been mm -hmm. scheduled and loaded in their system, which makes what all of our efforts counterproductive. Because mm -hmm. if we're not going to, if there's a schedule, we have to stick to the schedule. If 
If we have seven pieces of individual content artists, if you have seven individual clips that your team put together for you, and you feel that the fourth clip that's been scheduled for the fourth day is going to be the one that's going to get you the most attention, you are not allowed to post that one first. Mm. You have to follow protocol. It's fourth. Let it be fourth. If you want that one to be first, then it all has to get changed. And if it's being changed to suit or cater to your ego, not and suit and cater to the exposure, then we've already lost the battle. And what do you that, mean catered to the exposure? Explain that. It the platform is going to push the original owner of it. So when we load a, when we'll get our content, for example, we'll get all of our pieces and our team will schedule all of the pieces of content out. And then we'll get a, an email with that schedule. So those particular days, the cheat code is the one that owns that content. Right. Okay. So if any of us post out of order, then we've taken that exposure from the cheat code. Got because it. the cheat code is going to reap, is going to post that content, whether you posted it today or when it was supposed to be posted. Right. But since you posted it out of order, that is now your video. So now when that piece Got of it. content drops on the cheat code page, it's not going to reach the same people because it's, it's not going to react. It's not so original right content. So you're suggesting when I do the cheat code stuff, I should collaborate or we should collaborate the post, correct? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm suggesting we find the schedule that works. I've been to post my clip too. That's my clip. And guess what I'm saying? I, I suggest that we, we have to find a schedule and this is for everybody, not just the cheat code, but for everybody. We have to find the schedule that works for us and for right. us, it's individual or team wise because there's, there's multiple pieces to us where it's just one artist, here's your schedule. All of us are not highlighted in all of the clips. So Correct. this may be a particular clip where I'm highlighted in, but because it's the only clip that I'm in, I'm going to post this one, even if, even if it's four clips out of order. What that is throwing our, we have the consistency, we've established the connection, but we're not establishing the ownership to it. Case in point, I got tagged in, an, in a post today by Ferrari. So when I went to Ferrari's page, since I'm, I got tagged by two people that were verified, Ferrari and Wendy Day. So when I went to Ferrari's page, Meta said, hey, congratulations. You can add the list to get your verification list because you're being engaged with verified profiles. Oh, wow. It's that's the wild. same that's crazy. principle. So if you have, and here's the thing, we're having famous friends doesn't do you no good if they're not engaging with your post. Do you know what would happen if you have 50 verified accounts engaged with your profile the minute you posted it? Your, your shit would go to the front of the fucking list. The cheat code post that was posted today had three, when I looked at it, had 301 likes, 21 comments, but had been shared 41 times. And now they're showing you the shares on the actual video page. Yeah, I see. So it, that engagement matters because they're only showing it. It would cost too much money to make sure that everything that everybody posts is seen by everybody that follows them. So they do simple mathematics. They're going to show your shit to a percentage of the people that are online and based on what those people do. Yes, you're at the mercy of your followers. Is the shit you're making engaging? Is it worth commenting? Are you putting out enough bad pieces of content to know what good content should look like? Mm. Are you experimenting? Are you tagging your own music? Just with the cheat code in the last month, we've learned so much and we've been doing this 50 weeks. We've got videos that are a minute and one second that have only had eight views. And it's not because it's not amazing content, because if we shaved off six seconds from that video and got it to where the YouTube specifications, it would be at our bare minimum, mm. 1,500 views. But because it didn't meet the minimum required for a short and it wasn't long enough to be a good video, we're stuck in the middle. Mm. Is it that it's the like fans purgatory. don't want to see it? It's in purgatory. Right. Is it the fans don't want to see it? No. Is that the platform- It's that they don't get to see it. They don't get to see yeah. it because the platform feels that this type of content is not going to be engaging. And is it fair? Fair is a place where they judge pigs. Make better content. I'll even say it on the flip side. Like if 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 they're showing it to a small percentage of people and it starts to engage, they're going to show it to even more people. Correct. And then if that's engaging, you could hit the Explorer page, that's which correct. even more people see it. Yep. And there's a way to do all that. There's a way to influence all of those different times. There's a way to, you know, we were talking about this on one of the previous episodes, having the analytics, being able to go in and look at something and see when the best time, when the time to post, what kind of post. That's so important. All of that stuff matters, man. Keeping it's tabs so and records and, you know, leading up to things. The problem with creating content is that it requires communication, bro. Nobody wants to be told what to do. Nobody, everybody wants to be a fucking vampire, mysterious in the secret, dark. I've got these clandestine plans and can't nobody know until I've executed it. And that hurts us, bro. 
because all you're doing is you're ending up and you're reaching out and you're getting a blog post from a blogger because you have a relationship and that blogger is posting your article and we don't find out about it till four days later. So now that blogger isn't going to post your shit again because nobody bothered to share it. Nobody went on the website. Nobody right. liked it. Nobody commented on it. But here you are. You got to share it from Spotify and your whole team is doing that. So now people are looking at you funny like, come on, dog. You only celebrate support from big platforms. What about me, bro? I'm going to look for your music. I'm adding you to playlists. I'm adding you to my website. You can't even go on my website and leave a comment and say, I appreciate you. You can't even share it. So why would we expect our growth to be any bigger or any stronger or any faster if we're not doing the small things that we can to tend to ourselves as an artist, as a podcast, as a label, as an organization, whatever it is. We went to the podcast shit. We went to add the, the pictures and the credits. Mm -hmm. How many times did we have to text you back and forth? Right, I need a new picture. Right, I need a new picture. Yeah. Then we finally got the picture. And what they said, his face is hidden. Who knows that? Who knows that we have to go through all of those things to upload a picture of one of our hosts on the podcast show? Right. Who knows that we have to have that specification? Who knows that they really don't want a picture of you hiding your face? And if somebody knows that, why didn't y'all tell us? That's the problem with this industry where we are. And I think we changed that with the show. That's why we don't want nobody up here giving you else misinformation. But we're having a hard time keeping up with the information we collect. <laughs> we trust each other to make sure that we're yes. leading each other down the right path. Right. I'm going to bring another person in here who I don't know what the fuck they got going on. And I can look at it on the top surface and know that you're just, come on, bro. What you want to come in here and talk about? You want us to celebrate you making the wrong decisions in life and think that it's okay <laughs> to celebrate? No, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that for nobody, bro. And I'm at, we're at the point with the cheat code of where we're growing we're established ourselves for we're over a year running now. Everywhere, every one of us is in a different position than when we started the cheat code a year ago. Oh, Thanks. that's true. That every true. one of that's us really is true. growing. We've grown. There yeah. are new family members that are being brought into the fold. Like this is everything growing, whether it's kids or new team members, everything is growing. Our viewership, we're at almost 750,000 views on information. Just information. We're not Good shaking no ass, showing no, no thigh. We're not <laughs> gossiping. We're not doing none of that, bro. I could do that, but they'd leave. And we almost had a, we're almost at three quarters of a million views. And some of the most amazing supporters and coders and followers and fans. And if we want to reach more people, then I strongly urge us to start doing a little bit more for us to grow because we are the barometer that they are measuring it from. If you guys go in the comments, if you haven't, I challenge you guys. Go on the comments read some of the stuff these people are saying to us we're changing these people's lives no i uh it's I was really funny. crazy I was, to see man it was uh yeah, someone impressive. wrote us a, a essay i don't know if you saw that did you see that yes did you read it yes it was a it very was really heartfelt we literally yes. changed that person's life yeah. yeah and that's the purpose that's that's the point and we're all learning no no none of us know how to do this i'm almost 50 mm -mm. I don't know how to use TikTok like a 14-year-old, bro. I don't have time to use TikTok like a 14-year-old. I don't have time to learn how to do Instagram and, and, and all of this shit and factor in a personal life and factor in raising kids and factor in a wife and factor in a personal life and I want to enjoy some things. I, yeah, bro, I have the same troubles and quarrels and problems that you do. And I'm not saying that I'm putting anything before any, I'm, I'm sacrificing a lot of shit, overlooking a lot of shit, yes. God damn it, I'm doing it all so that my kids won't have to do this shit 20 years from now. I'm doing it all so our teams can get to the promised land faster. I'm thankful for you guys, man. Thankful for everything that we do. I'm thankful for Jalen and Blaine and the camera team and Larry and Shauna, our executive producers. I'm thankful for the people that let us get to use this space. Everybody's amazing. You guys are all amazing. Our distributor, Lipson, all of the platforms, Spotify, Apple, Pandora, everybody, literally every platform we've reached out to and have established a connection and have corrected a problem, literally Everybody, every single yeah, platform, everybody. Pod Chaser, yes, Pod everybody. Bean, Amazon, you name it. And we've been blessed that we've been able to have a great reputation to where these platforms are willing to help us and, and expeditiously, might I add, they help yeah, they us have. resolve our issues. And we've been able to accomplish something with no ad budget, just consistency and heart. That's all we've mm -hmm. given this, consistency and heart. We've poured our heart into it and we've done it every week and the people are loving it. And I think now with the support of some of the industry players, because it was one of the people that just got uh, BET's podcast of the year. They watch our show. Facts. They retweet our show. They retweet our content. That's amazing that we have the respect of our peers. That's paramount. Yes. Now that we're at that point to where 
the people that the people are going to are noticing, now I think it's time that we really double down on some of the things that we have to do to really show these people that this industry, it can work the way it's supposed to. It can work the way we imagine it. We just have to do an obscene amount of work. And I know you guys are ready for that type of shit. I All day. And, and, and also we're highlighting that sometimes the shit doesn't work. And these are some examples why. Uh, but in the beginning of when we first started talking, Wendy said, you know, um, the underdog comment. And um, I wanted to reply to that. And I wanted to say that for me, I'm addicted to growing. I don't do drugs or anything like that. I don't really have a fix. I used to collect sneakers. I'm I stopped. sorry to hear that. <laughs> I stopped after, <laughs> after 365. Exactly. I got we can more drive than you that. There. <laughs> but I would say my only drug that I'm addicted to is growing. Hmm. Um, That's heavy. And helping other people grow. But I've, I've also become, what has become a fancy of mine is helping other people grow more than me growing. I, I have a... Um, a natural high of helping someone else win that makes me feel way I think that's better. the ultimate growth yeah I think that makes you the ultimate boss yeah. when you, when being the boss uh, is mean means understanding that you eat last correct you don't eat the most you you eat last you made sure everybody else is eating okay now nah, I can get my little plate and I think that's growth. and I might not and I may eat the least amount is making sure everyone is properly fed and I just feel like I see like for example nephew shoes to show right I've been putting a whole bunch of money in his pocket right just Pose. Little things here and there, but of course. Just, that makes me feel better than any accomplishment I could have for myself. Bossing so up. I'm just, I just feel so uh And warm. look how much he's grown. Yeah, literally. Literally. He can't play basketball, but you know. Well, he tries. He, he pretends tries. he can. Yeah. But I haven't seen him. Having you know, said the, that. Understanding, understanding <laughs> that, <laughs> under, understanding that true power, true power comes in, in the uplifting of others. No, facts. Agreed. That, that's where I think you made a post about it the other day. Like, no matter what you've done, you're, you're one of your biggest blessings is being able to just selflessly give to people and mm -hmm. continue to put those around you on a, on a in a better space. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm really I'm really blessed that I get to see it. Like right. I get to help people, but I get to see the difference that I make in their lives. Yeah, and that's really awesome. And that's where I have the problem. I I feel like sometimes I don't. You don't get to see it. I don't get to see it. Yeah. I. I I don't think I've ever encountered a situation or a client or an artist that when I walked away from was in a way better space than whenever I met them. They all them. are. And You're I've, just not looking. They all and I've are. I've never met maybe three or four in all the years that I've been doing this that have any type of understanding. I don't want appreciation. I want understanding. Agree. I don't want, I don't want you to appreciate anything I do because appreciation is shown through action. If you appreciate me, but... I want you to understand what it is that I do. I want you to understand the value that I bring to the table. I want you to understand the, the value of my commitment to the team because that alone in itself is a fuel, it's a driving force. And if people understood all of the different types of driving forces on their team, there'd be no way that there would be any room for doubt. There'd be no room for error because you know what, like, do you see what's behind me? How can I be stopped? And most people don't have that vision. I don't know what it is. It's like a blinder. And I don't think I've encountered that. And that's why lately for the last couple months, that's been my biggest problem, bro. Wake, waking up every day. I love what I do, but waking up every day and doing it for people that I know don't appreciate it. It's taken its toll on me. I won't lie to you. Mm. It really bothers me every single day. And I don't do it. I don't do it for them. I do it for me. That's why I wake up every morning at the ungodly hour. My kids, my old lady, we got to eat. We got to live. I don't do what I do for you. I do what I do with you. That's a uh, that's a good topic to for us to kind of dwell on real quickly. Um, I often feel that way, um, but it's the job, like you said, and you have to find things that motivate you to stay motivated. But I will also tell you, uh, I once I think Wendy put in the in the podcast that it was my idea. I feel like it was all our all of our ideas. I just kind of sparked it. But the reason why you're here, Kingpin, is because, again, I was talking to you on the phone. i never forget I was driving on Wesley Chapel Road right off of I-20, uh, east side, and you were talking to me about I felt this artist had fudged numbers. And I said, man, I don't know who to call. Oh, <laughs> you. Call Kingpin. Let me call Kingpin. You the gave bearer me such of a comical news. but bad 
but bad review on this artist that had fudged numbers. And I just thought it was hilarious. I said, ah, oh, that's it. And I called Shauna and said, hey, man, I got the other person because initially I thought about you and then I didn't know who else. But then when I talked to you the same day and you gave me such a great response, I said, yeah, that's got to be on camera. So like <laughs> you, you, I just want to let you know you, your, your flowers are Oh no! Respected, listen, we well get them. We get them. I see them from I the fans. I just want to say I, I see them from the fans. I, I see them from the the supporters of the cheat code. I see them from the upcoming artists. You know, there are people that you know. I had an artist drive. He looked me in the face, told me he drove four and a half hours to bring me a sweater and a hoodie. Like that type of shit to me is monumental. When somebody yes. yeah. somebody donated fifty dollars on uh, one of our videos on YouTube, the video about the husband and wife. Yes, some people like this hit home and gave us fifty bucks. You have no idea. And those are Ray, real. Ray of uh, shout out to Ray of Arc down in Miami. Listen, we've sold almost 20 hoodies in the last 10 days because of this guy. Yeah. He will not sit down to have a conversation with you about your business unless you send him proof that you bought a cheat code <laughs> yes. hoodie. This That's is fire. real yeah, deal absolutely. because real. he doesn't want to talk to you unless you have an understanding of the music business. What right. a concept. This is the same guy that sent you the cigar. The cigar box of the humidifier, yeah. right? Oh, so man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I'm, Ray. I'm so thankful for that. That's not who I'm talking about. They they see the work. They understand what we do, so they applaud it. They, I'm not talking to them. I'm talking about to the over, uh, uh, overzealous, uh, in your mind, lost, confused individual that wants somebody to tap dance for you every time you feel you want something for free and should, shouldn't have to pay for it. Yeah. That's who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the person who will look me in the face and tell me that they're in a better position to help everybody around them. But when you ask them, what is it that you do? They can't explain it to you because they're in a position to help themselves. Those are the people that I'm talking to because those are the ones that call. Those are the only ones that have a problem. The ones that never want to pay for the solution. Haven't you ever realized that? Yeah. The ones who pay for the solution, they don't call to complain. They call to say a payment went through. But the ones who always have a fucking quarry, those are the ones I'm talking to because yeah. those are the ones that stand between us and success far more, more often than not. Those are the people that are standing in the way. Those are your gatekeepers. The people that were sitting here and finessing people out of a bag 20 years ago. And because the jig is up now, they get behind a microphone and they get to talk about it. Well, guess what, bro? Had I had known what you were doing 20 years ago, I'd have been way past you now. But now we know. And now that we know that you don't know, we're able to educate people to do it right. And that's all I want to do. I don't want to call nobody out for doing good business or bad business. That's not my job. If a snake bit me, I didn't know how to handle it. Maybe you know how to handle the snake, so go ahead. But understand, I seen DMX made this quote there. Trust somebody to be who they are. Trust a liar to lie to you. Trust a thief to steal from you. Trust a snake to bite you. So if you think a snake is going to bite you, then you're going to handle them differently. That was my mistake. I handled snakes like they weren't going to bite me. And when they and bit me, I looked bitten. crazy and was like, why did you bite me? And the snake would look at me and say, bitch, I'm a I'm snake. I'm a snake. <laughs> and I think in this business, we don't talk about that enough because it's not cool. Okay, cool. We're not going to talk about it. And then let's change it. And I think that's what we're doing here. Enough of the bullshit. Enough of the people not knowing. Enough of the budgets being misspent. Enough of the people enough getting the taken finesse. for the joyride and the finesse and the scams and the hustles and the lying and the fudging of numbers. And enough of you, en enough of you paying for something and then you getting exactly what you paid for. All you wanted was the numbers on the bottom of the screen. All you cared was paying for to get a deal. I asked somebody that one time. When you pay somebody to help you, are you paying them to help you run your label or are you paying them to help you get a deal? That's two very different payments, bro. Very different. Two different Very different payments. payments. Very different what goals. are you trying to They're very different. Everything is different about that. And most people, when you ask them That's that question, great. they don't know the answer because yeah. they're going to tell you, I'm paying them to get me a deal. How? You didn't have none of the information that you would have needed to leverage a deal. I'm paying them to run the label. How? None of the shit that has to get done to running the label is being done. So who are you paying and what are you paying them for? That's so much so that I have to. <laughs> that's, that's what baffles me Mr. in this Bojangles. business. Yeah, so. And that requires for you to what? Do what? Mr. CEO? Research Structure out your company, hire the proper people to get the proper things done. And that's very difficult because some CEOs just want to be a CEO and play CEO, but don't do CEO shit. And um, I that see that so far. That might be the real shit you ever said. No. I see that far and few, especially in, um, in the urban part of the scope because it sounds cool. You got money, you do, you make, and especially if you make your money doing other things and you're dibble and dabbling in the music. So this is just for fun. And if it's just for fun, you can't play with people who take it seriously. 
That's all I got to say about that. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're doing this as a hobby and you're doing it for fun, then continue to do that for fun. But if this is something that you want to see the resources from, name me one hobby that doesn't require you to invest in it. You want to collect stamps? You're going to have to buy the book, the magnifying <laughs> yes. glass, the stamps. You want to collect butterflies? You're going to have to buy the net, the, the bag. The, you want to collect, so again, you want to get, collect Pokemon jellyfish? cards, you want to okay. do anything you want to, you want to paint and crochet, you got to buy canvases and oils and brushes Agreed. and clean up stuff. And, and you're going to, you want to learn how to cook, then you're going to walk around smelling like food and oil and onions and all your favorite aprons are going to get damaged. <laughs> it's just the nature of the beast. You know, most of us don't want the sacrifice. We just want the, the goal that comes with it. And I understand that. And all I'm saying to you people is just a little bit of attention to detail can help curb all of that disappointment, man. Can curb all of it because it'll give you a realistic point to start from or to end at. Mm. Cheateth codeth.